What's up YouTube, this is Brub52 and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This video was recorded right after the last one, so uh... Because I, after you, if you're not in like a, like an iconic area, like a dungeon or something, uh, you'll spawn back at Kokiri, and I really don't want to have to walk all the way back here again. So we're just gonna do this right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and scale Death Mountain here. Which you can do because you have the high lead shield. But... What was that? <laughs> Explosion spoon! Anyway, you can only get to this area after you get the bombs, obviously, because you need to break these barrels, but, uh, yeah. Oof! Oh, crap. I'm not gonna exhume any explosives this time. I, I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> Whoosh! Oh, you're kidding me! Whoosh! There we go. Jeez. Wasted so many bombs on that. Uh, the mewing is a cow. He's under this rock here. Gives you milk, obviously. But we're just gonna go straight to the top. And you may be wondering why you need the shield. Well, of course. There are these things. Oh god. A bunch of... You do need the hiding shield to dodge these. Or deflect or destroy these rocks without dying. I actually cannot survive the way up without the shield. before the third one. Hey, you gotta be kidding me. I'm right there. I can see it. There you go. Right. We got these boys up in here. In adult form, there's this uh, tectite at the very top. And he falls down once you're in this area and it's super awkward. Him. Yeah. Oh shoot, I thought these guys died too. It's... Alrighty then. Bum, 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 bum. The jingles in this game are really nice. It's not even a jingle, it's a theme, boy. It's a soundtrack. Nice soundtrack. It's kind of nice. Very nice soundtrack. What did this guy drop? I probably don't care about it, so we're just gonna head straight to the top. At least at any time in this episode. Alright, so we got three things up here. We got the fairy, we got the dude, and then we got the... Inside the K crater. I know what it does. Not gonna zoom in on explosives, I need to clarify that. They are not zooming in on explosives. Anyway. Have you guys seen any great fairies in the game so far? I don't think you have. This is the first one. That's cool. Anyway, this guy gives us our magic bar. Or girl, I should say. This is a woman. Great fairy is a woman. Welcome, bruv. I am the great fairy of power. Shoot, I should probably raise this up. It's probably way too low. Okay. Ah. Uh, I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Spin attack, which basically equals match bar. So, here we go. Ah, uh, she also heals us, obviously. Or liking my photos. You master the seat, your technique, sword, a sword spin. Unleash rage for enemy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate the joystick once and press B for a very effective quick spin. Now, doing that is very hard on the N64 joystick back in the day. And uh, it was a. You, you were a master of video games if you could pull it off. I never could, but it is much, much easier in Wii U port because these joysticks are better. Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop by a friend of mine who lives in a castle. She'll really grant you new power, which is Dense Fire. Uh, which is very important, because it's, you need to enter the Shadow Temple in the game. Anyway, there's our magic meter. I'm going to show you how good I am at this fast spin attack. Crap. There we go. Nice. Hey, I'm cool and good at games. Alright. So, uh, how many pieces of arts do I have, actually? I'm going to check. Okay, so the next one we get uh, will give us a new heart container, and I will show you what the next one will be. But first, there's 
piece of art in here, which I totally forgot about. I was thinking of a different one they were going to get later, but we are going to get one in here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's two things to get in here. One is a... Actually, yeah, one's a Skotula, one's a piece of art. We gotta go! Ah! Uh, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. If you want to live, you gotta go fast. Go, 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 you're dead. Whoa. Whoa. No, my fairy. Oh, God. Wait, am I gonna be... Am I in the wall? Oh, that'd be so cool if I was in the wall. Crap. Oh, I wasted a fairy. And I'm burning, because I can't roll. Just go faster, come on! That would have been funny if I broke the game and I was outside the map. It would be very unfortunate, too. But anyway, we have a new heart container, as you can see up there. It does say five, says six, because we got a, four of them. Anyway, at least we can get out of here. I technically didn't die. Which is very hard to do if you're not fast. Anyway. Then we gotta talk to this guy who'll bring us back all the way down the mountain. There you go. So we're gonna enjoy this, this flight. And we're on this roof. Now, before you do fall off, there's a piece of art you get. Again, way earlier in the game that you're supposed to, you're supposed to have the long shot, which is the water temple, but you can get it just from flying down. There you go. Piece of art. Right there. Anyway. That is the... everything, basically, in Kakariko Village that we can get right now. Uh, how many skull tools do I have? If I do, I'll grab the... Okay, I can grab the new wallet, uh, which I will do now. Buddy, give me my wallet. There you go, the adult's wallet. All right, hold up the two hundred rupees. Stop it. Anyway, next one is the water temple, uh, or the uh, inside Jebby Jebba's belly, which we will do right now. So uh, we're at least gonna get set up for it. So uh, I will see you at Zora's domain. We're probably gonna speed through this one really quick. We get to speed up the clip right now. Okay, we're here. Uh, I'm gonna spin it fast, spin attack this. Oh crap. Crap, come on. Come on! Yeah, I did a thing. Anyway, this is our first magic here. There we go. Uh, there is a Skulltula here. This guy's gonna interrupt us, though. Ooh, dude, looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, bro. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zora served Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. The door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoot hoot hoot. Thanks. Thanks, Owl. I would have never figured out without you. Anyway. My commentary is very uh, inspired by Peanut Butter Gamer. But anyway, we have a thingy thing. Let's go to here. Get. 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 There you go. Actually, two skulls tools get in this area if we can get it, but you have to get it nighttime, obviously. This chicken is going to be our companion this adventure. There's two pieces of right you can get in this area, and of course the one skull tool at nighttime. So we can hurry. I don't think we'll be able to. We'll just have to wait around for night to come in. Oh wait, we do have this on song. That's true. So not really on any peril, but there's one up there, obviously. And there's another one. Up. Oh, there we go. And do the jump. There we go. 
And we gotta get that guy before he runs away. Come on! Where is he? Oh boy. Get back here. Alright, got him. So now we can get the next one. There's some tech dice behind me. Let's go. If he touches the water at all, he dies, by the way. Or he flies away. But you don't need him much after this point. Daytime's about to come. Come on, it's right down here. No, oh, we didn't make it, probably. It's right there, obviously, in the corner. We have to get this piece of heart first so the hard guy doesn't run away. Alright. Anyway, there we go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up before he disappeared. Get up. Alright, this is the guy. Our man. Come on, he's about to deter him. Okay. Got it. Nice. Just in the nick of time. Alright. So, this is the Zora's Domain. You gotta play your uh, song time. So, it's all all by right here. Yeah, I'm getting way better at that. You should be able to really take the time, but I'm getting really good. And the path opens for us. Only for us. And everyone with the connection to the royal family, but mostly just us. Anyway. Wee. Sora's domain. Here it is. I played this the soundtrack in the Getting Nostalgic video, and it's just so soothing. Sal is so happy. I'm having a good time. Guys, you just just listen to that. Listen to the pure beauty in that song. This game is beautiful. So happy and epic and stuff and things. You should really appreciate it if you guys have not played this game. Oh my god, I could not recommend it enough. This is by far my favorite game in the entire world, ever. Oh man, it's so fun. Alright, so we gotta do this to get a scale. And that'll make us dive farther, which we can do to continue the rest of the game. Okay. Fun fact, she actually dumps your money down here, that's what this is. Ah, oh, this is super easy. Zelda's a happy game. Alright, so, oh, stop. Okay. So before we do head up, we're gonna go ahead and, uh... Oh, also, there's a chest behind that waterfall. I totally forgot it existed. Should probably get that. Alright. So happy, man. I wish life was more happy than Zelda. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we have a fish, which we need later. Fun fact. Hold on to it. Uh... I don't know if that's a piece of heart behind the waterfall or what, but... Let me get it. Are there torches up there? I think I hear some. Alright, there's that one. So we can light all the torches, which gives us that. There's a lot to do in zone, man. It's fun. Anyway, we talked to this lady again. She gave us the golden scale. Or the... Is it? It's a silver scale. Silver scale. I got it. I know. I'm good at games. There it is. Silver scale. Makes us dive farther. You can dive deeper than you could before. Alright. I actually don't know what's behind the waterfall. I totally forgot. Anyway. Let's just find out. Pretty sure that these types of things actually stay on. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, happy Zelda is happy. I don't think I'll be able to make it. You actually can't roll or you will, your torch will go out. What? 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 Tell me that is. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I did. okay, I, I feel obviously it took too much time. These guys went out. So you actually do have to go behind the waterfall to make the chest spawn. But good thing this one stays on, or else that'd be taking all day. 
Come here back once I get this. I gotta speed it up. It's gonna be full. Cool. Not full. There we go. Got it. Alright. Hurry before this thing melts away. Come on. Hurry up. Yes, we know there's a chest there. Okay. Nice. Saved it. Anyway, I don't know what this is actually. I think it's a piece of art, but maybe something else. Maybe I'll go for money. Yeah, it is a piece of art. Nice. I actually didn't get this in my main playthrough test thing. Anyway. So what you do with this upgraded skill is obviously you dive in this hole. Then you go to Lake Hylia. that bottle there. Which you can't actually get with the, the silver seal, so that's what you need it for. We got an empty bottle here. Which we have a note in it, and we give to the king, and he's like, oh my god, my daughter is inside of the Jabu Jabu man. And you gotta go save her. So, that's this is what the third temple is. Really cramming a lot of stuff in these episodes. I don't mean to. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear princess Rudo. But since that strange Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Rudo. You can pass through here to the altar to Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle. It was a thing. Respectfully. Please, find my darling. And then this happens for a while. We're gonna speed this up just so I don't. Spirit, guys. Alright, so he's finally done. That was really long. Really, really long. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, go. Go, go. Now you'd be wondering, what's the fish for? Well, I will show you very soon. Anyway, we have to do this cutscene also. Oh, before we go into Lord Jabu Jabu, you can get a thing. Which you're gonna get. I'm gonna get it. Right here. Um, what you do is go all the way to the back. All the way. This little area here. Fun fact, you can also see Lord Jabu Jabu uh, in all of his beauty. Where is he? There he is. Or Jabu Jabu. Look at him. He's awesome. Look how freaking crazy he is. Alright, I believe there's a pith heart down in there as you're an adult, which you can't get with iron boots. Anyway, back to what I was doing, which is go to this island over here. You take your bams. You blow up the freaking wall. Literally, blow up the freaking wall there and then you go inside and it's a great fairies fountain again wow. nice I nailed it again dude I'm getting so much so much better at that All right, I'm happy happy these videos aren't gonna be 10 minutes long I just really speeding through them the this next one's probably gonna be at least, at least 20 minutes because we're doing a dungeon of course this one wasn't supposed to be long I just didn't really wanna I didn't want to didn't want to track all the way back to where that was Hello. Welcome, bruv. I am the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> this is Favor's, uh... Favor's Wind? Pretty sure. This is our first actual spell that we get. There it is. Yeah, Favor's Wind. This is a warp magic you can use with C. Warp when you're in danger. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. 
when you use the magic. Again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time or warp to that point. Remember, you can use Favor's Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside, okay? When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. And that's Favor's Wind. She fills our hearts and magic also. So, that's nice. It's very nice of her. Anyway. Is there anything here? Oh. Oh! I didn't even know that was there. I was just kind of like, hey, trees usually have school tools in them. But there's a school tool for you guys. That one. There you go. I actually didn't know that one was there. I'm missing- I'm finding a lot of new things that I didn't find when I was playing this earlier. It's really nice. Anyway, back to the whole reason of getting into the dungeon here. It's actually inside Mr. Jabu Jabu here. Obviously, the name of the dungeon is inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. And I mean that quite literally. So, I can stop swimming for like five seconds. Go over here. Right in front. Take a fish. Right here. Fish. Yeah. And you open it. And just watch as this very logical logic happens. That makes a whole lot of sense, but anyway. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like and comment. I do you guys think, and I'll see you in the next episode, which is going to be Tackling Sunshine. So, see you then.